Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. This video, we're going to be doing a very quick user form for data entry. We're going to be doing this all on a single page. But we're doing that because it just makes it easier for you to see what's going on. This could be done on multiple pages, etc. We're going to do a contact list. Basically, you're contacting these people and leaving a note. We're going to be doing a user form. We do have the browser open, which is Alt F11. Go to VBA Projects, User Form, and you're going to add a user form. This pulls up the user form. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a combo box. Now, the nice thing about user forms is you can actually get people to enter only the data that they would like to have added. Um, and essentially, in this case, we're going to be using the row source, which is a source of data that is on your spreadsheet. So we're going to be using sheet one, C2 through C10. Um, you'll notice that I put that in there. And that is, you'd have to actually use the standard um, functionality or standard way that a formula looks at it. And I'll show you how this works, which is actually really slick. So the source uh, is right there. It's those, it's those data points. And if you needed to change that or make that bigger, you can do that. And really what that does is it allows you to force uh, data integrity there. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add a note. This will be a section where uh, as they enter the stuff in, they're going to be adding notes. We're just going to add a couple other things just so that it makes sense. We're adding a label. Um, you'll notice uh, that if you click on any of these items, it will actually take you to the code window for this form. Um, and sometimes, sometimes that's good and sometimes that's not. And so as we drill around in this, uh, that's exactly what happened right there, is I double clicked on that label and that opened the code for that label. Very, very, very rarely are you going to code for a label. If you did, um, it would be kind of changing some information around that. So if you wanted to change the label name. So now all we need to do is just add a button. We're gonna add two buttons. We're going to add an add button and we're going to add a close button. So once you've opened up your user form, you do have to have a way to close that down. There's two ways to close, close a window down, a user form down. The first way is to uh, write code that says basically unload. Um, and unload basically means that we're going to completely unload this form or take all the data off of it. Uh, the other way to do that, and you'll notice that label two is in there, uh, kind of a pain, but it does show up if you click on stuff. Um, we're going to unload me in this case, which essentially is whatever um, parent I'm attached to or whatever user form I'm attached to, I'm going to unload the entire form. And we're going to add where we're going to be putting this table, we're going to be or putting this information, we're going to be putting it in a column E, F, and G, or column five, six, and seven. And you'll notice when we double click on add, it's going to pull up the combo box. Um, and you'll notice that uh, those, when you double click on them, it actually pulls in whatever that's actually called. So this is command button one. You can actually go in and change that in your uh, properties window, kind of where we did the row source. But in this case, we're not going to do that. So the, the kind of the hardest part of doing the, um, doing a data load or a user form is to figure out what row to put stuff on and so in this case what we're doing is we're going to go to sheet E or uh, C sorry E1 we're going to go to the current region and then we're going to do a rows and we're going to count those rows and essentially what that's going to do is we're adding in a data set or we're, we're at giving it what's how big is that current region um, so you'll see I've got my immediate windows here, um, and this is what the current region looks like. It's going to be E1 to G1, um, and essentially, I need to know how many rows so that I can figure out where I'm going to put the next data set. Now, if you don't have the immediate window, you can go to View. I recommend the immediate window and the locos window. As I kind of mess up here and I couldn't figure this, this piece out, um, essentially, in these immediate windows, if you're asking the code to do something, you will go in and you will... Um, so it will do a select. You can change things, but if you're asking it to return something, it will not. So this is what happened here in this portion. Um, essentially what happened was I didn't put a question mark. So I'm digging in to see what's going on with that code. Um, 
and essentially put the question mark end row, which essentially is that region, which is one row plus one equals two. Now what I can do is I can actually populate this information, which is the contact name, the date, and the note. So we're going to use sheets, sheet one. There's a couple ways to uh, figure out what sheet it is. We're In this case, we're using the sheet name. We're gonna to go to the cells, which is the ERW, which is a variable, which is the end row, which I showed you in the immediate window. And then what we need to do is we need to, well, let me, first of all, before we move on, let me show you which end row ERW is. So we've got to fill this out first. Uh, it does not let you, obviously you've probably seen this, but it does not let, allow you to do the end row um, or use the immediate window uh, if you have an issue uh, with your code. It's going to force you to fix that issue before you do it. And so let me show you really quick what um, that cell that we're going to be pasting, pasting the combo box uh, one in. And so you'll see it shows up in E2, which is exactly where we want to put it. Um, you'll notice I use me. Me, I use me a lot when I use user forms. It's super easier uh, because you can just put the information in. So you type me, and it's going to give you a list of everything that's associated with um, with that box. So you'll notice right here, I'm going to type me, and then I'm going to look for the text box, which is going to be me dot text box. Um, if I had a list box, it would be list box. In this case, it's text box. Now we're going to run this. We've got it open. We're going to change our combo box. All right, so we should be good to go. So now let's just go ahead and run this. And all you have to do is click the play button, which we're going to do. Click play, select the contact. Uh, we're going to select Joe. We're going to type in a note, really fancy note stuff. And it's going to stop because I did put a breakpoint on that. And it's going to populate. You'll notice that I wrote over my code here. This happens more than I would like to uh, admit. And uh, let me show you kind of what I did here. So if I do a select here, it's going to go to seven, right? I was uh, not in seven, I was in six. That essentially was the issue. I'm going to drag that back up, and you will notice that I'm good to go. Then I hit F5, and it will take me back to my box. And I can just select name, type in whatever I would like and hit add and it will add to my little hearts content now I did click close so in clicking close it actually shut that all the way down Now there's one other piece that we've got to do if we want to attach this to a button and, and want to not do a macro is we need to create a create a module um, and a module is just going to show the form now what's the form name you'll notice that it is user form one so we click on user form one dot show and that will actually show the form now we're going to add a button. The buttons are under the developer tab. Now I'm using a control form. You can use that or you can use any image and just right click and assign a macro. Um, and what we're going to do here is we're going to assign it the show form. We're going to click add, add the text as needed. And our user form is almost complete. So add note. All right, yep, add note here. And then when we click on this button, it's actually going to pull up the user form. And we have a super simple, really easy contact form that we can go in and make notes. Um, the uses for this could be varied. You could use this all over the place. But I hope more than anything, this is super useful. And I hope you enjoy this video.